Hey guys, I'm back for another video. This is 30 Virus, your friendly neighborhood Hypixel admin, of course. And today I'm here for a weird video. Uh, it's call it an update showcase. Some of you might be aware of my previous programming projects using a little thing I'd like to call Uber items. It is a spigot plugin that I developed for the express purpose to make my own stuff in the style of Hypixel Skyblock. Uh, if you want to see videos like that, I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner, but basically, you know, the builder's wand, right? That item that basically makes farming possible on the private island in a reasonable amount of time. I coded the first version of that in Uber items and the admin seemed to like it so much that they made their own version using mine as a template earning me the creative mind. I decided to take things to the next level and code my own entire Hypixel Skyblock update using Uber items. Hello. Today we are releasing a few general game quality of life changes. Added the uncrafting table, a powerful item that can deconstruct any item with a crafting recipe. So this is a cool little item. It looks like a crafting table, but smaller. You craft it using a crafting table, four stacks of enchanted oak wood, and 16 enchanted iron blocks. The way it works is you right click on it and you could take any item and then it will show you the components. You can click this button here to uncraft the item. And there you go. I now have its components, three enchanted string, and two sticks and then I can go over here. I can also shift click with this and there you go. Now I have nine stacks of three. You can paste these back. And then of course I can recraft my grappling hook. Ha ha. I've, I've made all sorts of skyblock items. Like if I wanted to uncraft a Titanic XP bottle or a stack of them, I could. Oh God. Added the hook shot. An upgraded grappling hook with a stronger cast, reduced cooldown, and a 50% reduction in fall damage when holding the item. So here is the hook shot. Travel around in ease using this hook shot, which has an item ability called improved hydraulics, where you take 50% less fall damage when holding this item. It's crafted with three tarantula silk in place of the enchanted string and it uses a grappling hook in the recipe so this one you go much farther and you take less fall damage also it has a shorter delay actually as you can see one second cooldown versus two second cooldown now the thing is that the physics get a little weird when you go at such high speeds that's a minecraft thing not really a high pixel thing or a, a me thing but anyways the ultimate grappling hook added the malk bucket an upgraded magical milk bucket with unlimited capacity that can be spiked with a potion effect spiked effects are one level beyond the typical maximum and do not stack it's one of those weird items that i would probably categorize as more of like if anyone remembers the voodoo doll how it's not really it's technically a weapon. This one's not a weapon. It's like this weird in-between item. It's not a talisman. It's not a weapon. It's an infinite milk bucket that you can spike with potions. So let's go into the creative menu here. Obviously, you can spike it with anything. But let's say I uh, want to spike it with strength two, you know? So I'm going to take the strength two. And I just spiked the milk bucket. So now I can drink it. Now I have strength too for five minutes and it's an infinite milk bucket that is permanently spiked with strength. So now I just get that potion every time I drink from the milk bucket. But yeah, so you can like pick a potion effect. So how this would work in base sky block, the best way to balance it in my opinion would be that the milk bucket can offer you basically the only way to get a max potion effect. So you can pick a potion effect. Let's say it's magic fine strength crit. Uh, or whatever and when you spike a malk bucket with it then you get a tier above what you get with a god pot but only for one potion effect you can only do it you can only pick one effect to have like let's say strength what is the max eight or seven let's say it's eight you would have strength nine if you wanted that you could drink for like every you'd get 
like an hour duration or something depending on how the balancing would work and it would not be able to stack with itself or with god potion obviously it would just replace whichever potion effect it's trying to do but anyway that's the malk bucket added the document of order an island quality of life item that sorts chest inventories you can sort multiple chests at once and combine repeat stacks to conserve space next up is the document of order so this would be like one of those island personal island private island convenience items so you know this is like for your private island so what i'm gonna do is get a chest and then i'm gonna grab all sorts of different stones and whatever and pick all those up put them in a chest mess it up there that that looks good and then we do that and it sorts it alphabetically look at that here's the cool thing i have three chests now i can take some items from here take some items from here put grass in there so what we could do is if you were to look at the ability here select many containers at once then left click any non-container block to confirm or crouch left click any block to cancel so i can go And all the blocks are sorted in the first chest. And if there was too much stuff where it would fill the first chest, it would then go into the second one, then in the third one. And it would sort it as if it was one massive inventory. Now, if I were to go boom, 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 this is the first chest, this is the second, this is the third. All right, although I would consider myself at least a B tier developer for things like, you know, Minecraft plugins, I'm nowhere near the galaxy brain levels of intelligence that involves turning code into an IRL money-making method. Like the sponsor of this video, Salad is an app that uses your graphics card to generate money, which you can redeem for all sorts of online goods, including Visa gift cards, Discord Nitro, Spotify subscriptions, Minecraft accounts, even Grubhub credit if that's your thing. To get started, all you gotta do is download the app, make an account, and click the start button, and it will automatically start churning away and make you some delicious passive income with the power of your graphics card. Click the link in the pinned comment and description, or just go to Salad and use code 30 to double your earnings. Thanks again to Salad for supporting the channel this time around. If you're at all interested, give them a shot and let me know how it goes. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Added a new weapon category, Blunderbuss, as well as the first Blunderbuss, the Shooty Box. The box functions like a handheld dispenser and depending on the items shot, will have varying interesting and powerful effects. Now this one has its own video, it's called the Shooty Box, uh, name pending. And it shoots the container, it shoots the contents of the box at high speed, like a handheld dispenser. Now, what you could do with this is many things. I actually made a menu, I believe. There's an ammo guide, so it'll show you everything you can do with it. There's arrows, flint, sand, gravel, glass, gunpowder. Gunpowder is a fun one, actually. Let's grab some of that. Fire charge, ender pearl. You can shoot blocks. You can shoot mobs out of it. It's kind of crazy. So if I were to take this and, for example, fill it with arrows, it's basically a rapid fire bow. It's basically a juju short bow, except it doesn't pull back when you right click. It has a little bit of a recoil, so you can't really sprint with it, but you don't have to pull it back like a bow, which is kind of cool. Of course, it works like a freaking bow. We all knew that. But if you put gunpowder in there, this happens. You can boost yourself around. Almost like a reverse get grappling hook. It works with firework rockets as well, but you know, that they go even farther. Ender pearls is really neat. You can go like this. Oh, that didn't go far enough. But it shoots pearls way farther than normal. So you can chuck pearls way faster than normal and way farther. And then of course, it can shoot creative mines. No, come on. then of course it can shoot tnt now i'm not gonna wreck the skyblock island so let's um that'll shoot tnt and blow up everything so that's kind of cool but anyways 
that is the shooty box it contains its own inventory as well which is pretty cool but yeah that could be a new weapon type in skyblock you can shoot maybe anvils to crush your enemies blocks of multiple types would have different effects and it'd be like a blunderbuss you just throw whatever the hell in it and it you know does damage i think that'd be super cool have like 50 different things that happen depending on the block i don't know added the fairy soul compass points towards the closest unfound fairy soul can be purchased at Tia the Fairy for 100,000 coins. Now this one, I think we've all secretly wanted. This is a Fairy Soul Compass. It is unfinished though, so in its current state, it'll target just about any player head because you need NMS to figure out the skin of the player head. But if I get close enough to a Fairy Soul, you'll see exactly what it does. So I can right click here, or not even right click, I just approached this, you might notice you found a fairy soul. I actually implemented the system. And now that I've collected the fairy soul, it doesn't target it anymore. It'll actually go for a different player head. Yeah, so as you can see, it'll target it. There we go. So yeah, once I actually get a hold of NMS without making it version dependent somehow, anyone who codes and spigot will know what I just said. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Then this will be fixed and it would point you to like the closest fairy soul that you have not yet acquired that's important it will not point you towards fairy souls you already have fun fact these are actually just player heads if you leave and come back will it track the ones you have yes so the way i have it organized at the moment is since this isn't the main hypixel server all the locations of the found fairy souls is actually stored in the compass itself which is kind of crazy if you think about it so if i get a new compass it'll it'll act like i haven't gotten the fairy souls before but obviously if this was implemented on hypixel it wouldn't have to work that way added the sheep plushie a rare accessory that negates all knockback next up's a pretty cool one this is the sheep plushie sheep plushie does it's crafted with a stack of enchanted wool and a stack of enchanted slime blocks now as you can see by the description you don't take any knockback when holding this item so if i were to get a zombie and then if i were to pick it up Take a knockback, put it back in. Dying. I can put it over here. No knockback. Updated the jungle axe and tree capitator to destroy leaves as well as logs on the private island. This change should make it easier to farm mass amounts of logs in the stranded mode. But it'll also remove leaves. I said leaves. There we go. The cooldown was a thing. <laughs> so it'll get rid of leaves too. Now, this is really only useful if you're trying to, for example, you know, break trees on your private island, which is exactly what you would be doing in Stranded. So this is really a change directed at stranded players fix the bag of seeds to be able to place all crop types including sugarcane cocoa beans cactus and nether wart also remove the nether wart pouch out of redundancy so we all know it can do that right you can place all your crops but mine can do that <laughs> we can place cane but you know it places uh these as well boom improved basket of seeds needs a little bit of work on the angles in which you right click from but you know this will do and there you have it guys that is the 30 virus high pixel sky block quality of life update obviously i wouldn't actually suggest that all of these are added to the game especially not the uncrafting table that thing would wreck the economy so freaking fast it is unbelievable like dupers would have a field day basically turning duped terminators into 
completely clean materials that could be sold in the bazaar it would be a disaster but i figured it'd be a fun programming challenge and obviously i don't think there should be a talisman that gets rid of all knockback because there's things like the slime hat and the shell mitt i just did all this for fun and of course if you actually want to use all these for whatever reason on your own minecraft server you can uh all of this is included in my not enough sky block uber items add-on plugin that's a mouthful anyways you can download it using the link in the description as well as uber items if you want to support me of course you can actually purchase uber items it gives you the premium version which allows you to add as many custom items as you want and it has its own api which allows you to actually add your own items if you take the time to figure out how it works i did make a tutorial if you are interested and know a little bit of java you can have a good time but anyways thank you for watching the video this was a cool little project that i've been sitting on for a month and i finally got it out there hell yeah it did if you want to see more coding projects then make sure to tell me in the comments down below it doesn't have to be just skyblock it could be minecraft but yeah i do enjoy this programming content i i would love to make a ton of this for you guys so if you again if you want more like the video uh subscribe put the bell on i don't know but for now <laughs> i guess that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later Oh,